Hey, Walking Dead fans, welcome back to the channel. It is going to be a season 10 intro, kind of going frame by frame. We're going to overlay the two intros, the season 9 intro and season 10, and take a look at it and see what's different. There are a few little tidbits. Uh, much of it is the same. There's like one part in the middle that's totally different. And so, yeah, I've seen the first episode and I thought it was pretty good. I'm not going to do a non-spoiler review uh, probably just wait until the episode airs on the 6th and do a regular uh, review for it. And uh, it's good to get back into the review mode. And Season 10, Episode 1, it wasn't disappointing. I know, uh, you know, you got to set up the story, the longer story of the season as it goes. And Season 1 sets up a bunch of stuff. And even throws some new stuff in there in the episode that we haven't seen before. So... Overall, it was a good episode setting up the start of Season 10. But look for my full review on the 6th. So let's take a look at the intro for The Walking Dead Season 10 and see what the differences are. Okay, so I'll play the little clip I played at the beginning of the video. Check this out, and I'll slow it down a little bit. As you can see, what I've done in some of these pieces that I'll be showing you is I just simply overlaid the Season 10 intro over the Season 9 intro and... And kind of faded one out a little bit so you could see the other one underneath it made it opaque and so you can kind of see both intros at the same time and see what's the same and what's different the main thing in this opening sequence will be the stained glasses in the tree in the season 9 intro as the birds flew in the first stained glass were really the only stained glass in the tree in the season 9 intro was this one right here as you can see and in the season 10 intro that changes to four and if we go close up on all four of them, we see the windmill. And then we see, and I can't really tell what this is. It looks like a person sitting down, maybe with both arms crossed in their lap. Uh, some type of hat on, almost like a priest or a leader of some kind, maybe. And maybe I'm totally wrong. You guys, let me know what you think this is in this stained glass. It's at the top of the tree. And in this one, it looks like uh, corn. And then in the far right stained glass, it looks like uh, Shiva. And then as we look at these frames from the season 9 intro, it continues pulling back from the tree. And it pulls back through the pitchfork through the skull. And we can see some uh, bolts or arrows there. We see Daryl's crossbow there. As it keeps pulling back, we'll see Carol's knife just to the right stuck in a log. And what happens overhead? The helicopter flies over. And then as you watch this overlay of the season 9 and season 10 intro, it's very much the same. The Carol knife, the helicopter, and it even pulls back into the same horses who, uh, you know, it seems like Michonne's there on the right and Rick is there on the left, and they left that in there. I actually thought they would definitely take the Rick on the horse out, but as we keep pulling back, we go into the cemetery. And then it flies real quick by Negan's bat, uh, Rick's colt, and daryl's bike and there's not a lot of difference in all of that except on the wall in the background where it was it said final warning for season nine now it says silence the whispers but then as we come around uh daryl's bike before it was just kind of growing up with a vine and it kept going over to the barn so the season nine intro this is where it it changes and something totally different plays for like just a second in the season nine one, it goes over to the barn and we see the noose. Remember season nine and the noose? In the new intro for season 10, as we're heading over to the, toward the barn, uh, that windmill in Alexandria, the windmill blades kind of swoop down in front of the camera, per se, in front of your eyes, in front of that frame, and it transitions, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It transitions to something totally different that wasn't in the uh, season nine intro, and that's what this is right here. And I'll slow that down in just one sec, but let's take a look at just the piece from the Season 10 intro. Uh, and it's the bridge that Rick's standing on. You see the bridge, you see the walkers on the other end. He shoots, it blows up. And that's a nice little piece they actually replaced um, that used to be the barn and the noose. And as we transition from the bridge, we got the windmill again. It's the same pretty much as before, except there's the silence the whispers there on the base uh and to the left there's the jss that's enid's just survived somehow but we keep pulling back we got the birds again which transitions into the eye 
that eyeball and there's a little green fly that down there below it but uh, it transitions to the eyeball of that walker and as it pulls back we can see there's more walkers behind him and that's where in the season nine intro we saw the red the little red person back there we thought that's alpha and a taller person standing beside her that's beta there's a couple more walkers with this single walker it was just a single walker in the season nine intro but if you look real close at one of them at the back of their heads uh it's a whisper and they're holding a knife as well so we got a whisper and the other one's missing an arm over to the left so I'm, I figure that's actually a walker. And the one out front, the original one from the Season 9 intro, that's a walker as well. But we can easily see the stitches in the back of the head of the mask. And uh, he's carrying a knife. So that's a whisper there to the right. And the last major change of the intro, and this is after it swings around here, and we can see the other walker. What do we see as well? The pikes. We see pikes with some heads on them. And so we see the border now. Uh, as well in this intro so that's pretty cool that's some pretty cool changes that we got um, what does some of them mean I don't know there may be some more little ones and I'll go over that and maybe a little more uh, what some of these things in the intro means uh, when I do the review video of episode one on the sixth but I definitely thought those were some cool changes I thought they may change up the intro altogether but I see what they did I see how they did it and that's cool Season 11, they may have to change the intro at that point, but they may be able to tweak it and keep it even uh, another season. So we'll see how the intro plays out in season 11 when it gets here. But right now, the season 10 intro is much like the season 9 intro. Just a few little changes uh, and the major ones I went over in this video. And then I will mention them in the upcoming review video of the episode. But that's going to be it for this video. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought about the intro, the new intro, and the changes thereof. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff.